Hello everyone and welcome to the Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. Today we are going to go over the biogenic amine synthesis pathway. This pathway is very important to understand because it is likely that we will give our patients drugs that have these substances in them or at least substances that try to mimic them. Our biogenic amine pathway will begin with tyrosine and by cutting and pasting from different enzymes, we will arrive at our final product of epinephrine. Our story begins with tyrosine, our great, great grandfather substance. If tyrosine and tyrosine hydroxylase are present, the tyrosine hydroxylase will add a hydroxyl group to the benzene ring of our tyrosine. This generates the new molecule L-DOPA. Now, if L-DOPA and the enzyme DOPA decarboxylase are present, the enzyme DOPA decarboxylase will remove the carboxyl group and will generate a new molecule that we call, what do you say? This is cool amine. I think it is dopamine. In fact, we are all receiving a little dopamine right now because we are having so much fun learning about our biogenic amine synthesis pathway. Next, if we take our dopamine and put it in the same room as an enzyme called dopamine beta hydroxylase, the enzyme dopamine beta hydroxylase will add a hydroxyl group onto our dopamine. We will call this new substance norepinephrine. In fact, if a person had a deficiency of this enzyme, dopamine beta hydroxylase, they would have problems regulating their blood pressure and body temperature. Now, we take our new substance, norepinephrine, and we add an enzyme with the very long name of phenylethanolamine ethanol N-methyltransferase or PNMT. Our PNMT enzyme would methylate our norepinephrine and our new substance would be called epinephrine. This is commonly known as adrenaline. It should be no surprise to you if I told you that our adrenal medullae make a lot of norepinephrine. However, they also secrete epinephrine. Why is this the case? Because our adrenal medullae have chromaffin cells that contain the enzyme PNMT and all of the other enzymes in our biogenic amine pathway. This PNMT is what converts norepinephrine to a methylated norepinephrine that we call epinephrine. Please remember that all our biogenic amine pathways would not be possible without the humble tyrosine. Our end product, epinephrine, would be nothing without all of its predecessors and preceding enzymes. Lastly, please note that you will commonly hear norepi and epi referred to as catecholamines. As always, thank you for learning with us today and remember to like and subscribe for more content.